Which one of these two resonators do you like best? Hey, John here, and this is your Tuesday Blues, where each week we usually sit down for a guitar lesson, but sometimes, sometimes, we dive into gear and the equipment side of making music like we're going to do today. If that sounds like something that you're into, hit subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss a lesson. All right, so which of these two resonators do you prefer, and what about it draws you to it? Is it the body style, the look, the feel, the sound? To me, it's kind of an unfair question because I don't think I can pick a favorite. I mean, I bought both of these guitars, right? So I clearly like them. But we're gonna talk about the differences and really how stark the differences are between these two. And this is by no means meant to be a scientific comparison of one spec versus another. Instead, we're just gonna have a little bit of fun and talk about these differences of these two particular guitars. And maybe it will inform you of some sounds and things and ideas that you like if you're looking for a resonator. All right, so let's talk about the similarities. They both have a single cone, and that cone is what makes it a resonator. It's a metal cone that is responsible for the projection and the sound that's going on inside the body. They also have, let's see, six strings and 12 frets to the body, and that's pretty much as far as I can get when it comes to the similarities on these guitars. They are more different than they are alike, especially under the hood. The bridge systems that happen underneath this cover plate are very different. This one has what's called a biscuit bridge. It's a little disc that the saddle sits on, the bridge sits on, and the cone here points down. If you can imagine the cone sort of fitting in the palm of my hand here, it's this way and pointed so that the broad part of the cone faces into the guitar. The gold tones bridge system is what's called a spider bridge, and it's got these legs that stick out, which kind of help to give it its name, the spider bridge. Sometimes it kind of reminds me more of a spider web than a spider but that's neither here nor there but it sits on top of the cone and then of course the saddle is attached to it and that's where the strings go across but the other thing that's different is the cone itself doesn't point inward toward the guitar it actually points out now, as I mentioned, we're not going to do a pure scientific experiment comparing these two guitars. They're so different that it's not it's not really fair to make your comparison of what, say, metal sounds like versus wood or what a biscuit sounds like versus a spider. That's not this video. That's definitely interesting, but this is not that. But I really thought this might be fun to play through a few clips and let you hear what these two guitars sound like. And you can choose for yourself if you like the honey dipper more or if you like the wood body uh, gold tone more so let's get to that let's have some fun <laughs>
All right, so what did you think? Let me know in the comments below if you're pulled to either sound or if you're kind of like me and you like both of them. Right now, I'm definitely digging the Honey Dipper, mostly because it's new to me and I've never owned a metal body resonator before, so that is definitely tainting my pull to one versus the other. But again, it really is just a very different guitar. This one seems to have a little more resonance. Like when I hit a note, it seems to rattle around in the body and just produce a lot of reverberation, which is a really cool thing. I think you're going to see this a lot more on Tuesday Blues Lessons. But then again, the warm sort of woody vibe of the gold tone is just so sweet. So again, I think my final answer is definitely both. I like both and I'm going to use them for different applications. It really depends on what I'm going for. So over to you. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer and why. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you there. Until next time, practice smart and play on.